Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, the SIG Contributor Experience Weekly Meeting. It is March the 2nd. I'm your host, Alison Doudney. Um, and a bit of housekeeping before we begin. Uh, we abide by a code of conduct in here. So in short, that means be excellent to each other. Uh, we've got quite a lot to go through here today. Um, so uh, make sure you also add your name to the attendees under meeting notes. That'll be awesome. Um, so with that out of the way, let's begin. So we've got, uh, first off, we have our annual report. Um, so I will pull this up now and I will share my screen because um, I wanted to go through this with the rest of the group um, just to check uh, if we if we need to add, if we've missed out any, every, anything. So I'm going to share screen. Hey, here we go. Um, I'll just, there we go. Can everybody see the text there? Yeah, um, we can. Rich diff, we want rich diff. So current initiatives, uh, so, this is what we've got so far. Um, we managed to migrate Kdiv to a managed Kubernetes.io account. Um, we are uh, running the steering election with Electo. It was a major change in how we do elections. Uh, and um, we, uh, well, uh, Laura here, and I'll, I'll actually, you know, community meaning overhaul. Thank you very much, Laura, for all the help on that effort last year and this year. Um, easy CLA migration. Um, we, we migrated to Easy CLA. Uh, Contributor Summit North America. Uh, Contributor Celebration. And uh, we managed to restaff up the teams for moderation and YouTube admin. And I know there's something's missing here just uh, by sitting in the room. Uh, for instance, uh, you know, office hours is something that's kind of, you know, been a big part kind of, and I know David's here and has been helping out with office hours. Um, I was just probably be good to check in on that. Or yeah, anyone in the, in the call here, is there anything here that we should highlight that I've, that uh, me and Bob have uh, missed out on this draft? Alrighty, um, we'll move on to the next part of this document. Uh, so we've got, um, we don't really do caps because uh, uh, we're a service and program orientated SIG. So most of our initiatives cover long-term services for the project. So this is the current list of all our initiatives here, community management, contributor documentation, contributor comms um so yes uh i think i think we've got everything in here but um please give a yell if you are looking over this and uh you see that i've missed uh an area um, that we've missed an area oh hi bob you're on mute hi hi bob hey there we go can you hear me now yes okay i can hear you uh, the developer guide audit is complete. However, uh, we are in the process of updating the uh, contributor guide. And Wait, is this we, is this up further up in the doc here uh, under highlighter work? Um, this is the, oh wait, this is ongoing work, not last year. I'm sorry, I'm dumb. <laughs> no worries, it happens. I, I, I forgot this is this is for la last year's stuff. <laughs> last year's yes, last to the past. So yeah, this is the, um, yeah, initiatives, ongoing initiatives. I think we covered that, Bob. Um, project health, uh, this is going to be a really good point for discussion in this call. What areas and or sub projects does, do we need the help the most with right now? Um, and so we've covered these areas, but um, I was hoping to get more input from the wider Contrabex team. We're hoping to get input from the wider Contrabex team here.
Okay. Mentoring would actually probably be another one. Mentoring, as, yep. As we as we try and you know restart that meeting again for, I don't know how many times now. Mm. So rich diff. I'm gonna put uh. How do how do I do this? Uh, what? You, you, <laughs> there we go project health um we're gonna add over here both in ter terms of like coordinating with outreachy lfx and all that as well as um just helping run our cohorts and all and um I'll, I'll fix uh... okay i'm gonna add that comment there uh, metrics, uh, so issues, um, uh, main form of how we track work. So issue velocity, um, probably need to get a link to a dashboard in here. Um, Oh, so uh, is, is my keyboard really loud right now? Okay, it's good to know that Zoom's noise filtering is working. Okay. So... I mean, we can hear it, but it's very faint. Ah, yes. Okay. Does your contributing.md help new contributors engage with your group? So we don't really have a contributing.md for, uh, uh, for a contributor experience as um, the, our current process doesn't differ from the process that's in the contributor guide currently. Um, if your group has special training requirements, uh, we don't have any special training requirements uh, for people in contributor experience, as far as I know. Um, is anyone uh, got any feedback or comments on that? Um, nope. Uh, does your group have contributors from multiple affiliations? Yes. Other ways in con companies contribute the way, uh, are there ways end users and companies can contribute that they, the work that they currently are not? Sorry. This, uh, trying to um, more full-time support for item various items under bullet point one. So that being our, um, you know, we need more help on the GitHub admin side, community management automation. Um, yep. Uh, it'll reduce toil for not only contributor experience, but all groups in the project. Uh, membership uh, statistics were retrieved on the 2021 no, this is 2022, actually. Okay. Um, so I'll primarily, so th this was all the stats on, um, on 2022-0130. Um, I still need to use DIMS tool to look over the links for owner's files um, here. Um, would be good if actually um, if uh, anyone else here on the call has experience with using the tool that Dim's made uh, to go through all the owners files and stuff like that. That would be helpful. Um, please would love uh, would be good to get your help. Um, so sub projects. I don't believe we made any new or retired any sub projects in twenty twenty one. Sounds about right. Uh, and uh, this is all our continuing sub projects. Uh, I 
copy paste uh we copy paste that from the readme in a contribute experience uh folder under community and um working groups um don't believe we have working groups oh, actually i realized uh, one did get retired last year uh naming naming ah uh, yes how do i how do i comment github is uh not it's, really since it's it's not a change um i, I can't you... comment ah so um annotate here so i can look over this in the meeting notes and then erase it um okay operational um operational tasks so uh we need to review the readme for accuracy um we need to uh, review contributing.md but we can cut that one out because we don't have one sub projects list and linked owners review we need to review our owners files um, we need to review uh, the roles that we have and the folks who are in those roles um, and specifically like is there anyone we need to is there any areas we've forgotten to update um, meeting notes and recording for 2021 are linked from README and upload, updated, uploaded if needed. And um, community-wide updates in 2021. So um, we need a link down in here, all the KubeCon uh, stuff. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's the report, um, the annual report. Um, any comments or feedback on any part of that from the team? Anybody? All righty. Um, oh, um, the PR is linked inside the, uh, the agenda. Um, so if you want to take a look over that uh, later on and uh, some things come to mind, please uh, leave a comment. Be good to get uh, more input on this. And that brings us to our next item in the agenda, events, office hours. Um, so uh, we've got David on the line, who I believe has been hosting office hours, or is it meetup? Yeah. Yeah, I've been yeah. hosting it for <laughs> a little over a year now. Uh, and Ashamedly, this is my first Contribute X meeting. So, oh, welcome along. Um, yeah, it's just uh, up on what we're doing with office hours. Um, how, how can I help? Uh, an update, yeah, an right. update. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, we've been making some changes to the format over the last three months where we we found that we're getting low engagement of questions and we're doing a lot of work to discover the discourse forms for unanswered ones and try and handle them on the stream. Um, but we decided maybe just to split the time with the officers and try and get updates from some of the SIGs across the project. So the last two officers, we've had someone from ContribX. Uh, prior to that, we had someone from SIG CLI and we'll continue to do that for the next few months just so people can get a flavor and a taste of what's actually happening on the Kubernetes project, as well as hopefully getting some help and questions answered along the way. Um, we also brought on a new co-host. Um, so Carlos Santana has joined us for the last two months. And uh, my plan is to have him bring someone else on in a few more months time and uh, just keep that rotation going. So I'll, I'll drop out hopefully in April or May. Awesome. Thanks for the update, David. And thank you for hosting Office Hours for the last year. Um, really appreciate you and the team just helping put their effort into kind of keeping that running. Um, and welcome along to the Contribix uh, bi-weekly call. Um, so the uh, uh, Contributor Summits, uh, Contributor Summit EU, um, we've got a uh, pull request here. Um, I've added a pull request for the uh, brief description of uh, 
you know, what is Contributor Summit? Um, you know, I haven't had time to say to make that doodle that I was supposed to make last week, two weeks ago. So um, we're going to just start asynchronous meetings in the Slack every Tuesday from around 11 a.m. British time. Um, and that means it's uh, usually like an hour later in EU time. So all the EU folks involved. And then we'll close those out probably in the evening. Uh, that was just kind of a thought uh, in my head. Uh, I'd uh, like some feedback on that um, from other folks on the call, if that's a good idea or it's a bad idea. Um, just because I know like there's, we all have like a lot of meetings. So if we do those Slack meetings, um, it might be easier for us to coordinate. Um, thoughts? I would still probably try and have at least one in person, like either bi-weekly or something like that um, to get some of the more bigger things worked out. Um, the one problem for like, un until the crew is recruited, um, if most of the people wind up being in the US, that is 6 a.m. Eastern time, 3 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Mm. Uh, we've had uh, people also uh, reach out uh, in the summit staff chat saying that they're interested. So I've got um, uh, Puya is, uh, has uh, reached out saying that he's happy to help and also Jonas. Um, is there anyone else on the call who would be happy to help? Um, no pressure. No pressure. Arno says yes. Yeah. You know, I already volunteered. I just need some, we need to actually have some asynchronous direction as well. Um, particularly mm -hmm. if the main beings are gonna be in European time, which absolutely makes sense. It's just that some of us who are traveling to Europe are not gonna be able to attend those meetings. So we need to know what's going on in Slack and or via documents. Okay, so that brings me to kind of the next item on the list on under uh, Contributor Summit EU, um, we need to, send out just uh, another thing to the mailing list just so we have a email record of you know this is everyone who's kind of put their interest forward in contributor summit eu uh, particularly um, you know just double checking like what who do we have like how many volunteers who do we have as volunteers and uh, who will be attending um, so yep uh, I would, so, I would I would recommend like create an issue for that email to steer people to, and then have them mm -hmm. post on the issue there. Yes, they can commit to help. And what is their time zone? Because if it is going to be more, you know, if we are trying to recruit more EU people to help run the EU summit, um, having that information would be helpful. Mm, then tracking it as well inside get inside GitHub too, because I know it's if so, it's just in the mailing list or Slack, it's going to get lost to the void of uh, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah a GitHub issue to to point it towards, mm -hmm. and then the the people that would get tracked in um, the events dur as named individuals would be the the various leads. Mm. So. Reference issue. Um, this is mailing to Vex and Leeds. Um, yeah. Any other comments? Oh, I see Chris, you've got your hand up. I was just wondering if we wanted to open it up to like if they can't go, but they can still help organize. Just an option to throw out there, maybe. I think that would be really good, actually. Um, especially, so like, yeah. Add a third question, like, are you actually going to physically be there or not? Like, you'll just help more before than after or during. Yep. Well, when responding in the issue thread, respond with, you know, do you plan to be there in person? Can you? Right. Can you? Yeah. Yeah. And get help from or 
organizing. Cool. Um, any other comments, queries, questions on Contributor Summit? Alrighty, I think um, I just wanted to, I just realized I might have accidentally scrolled the page too far and uh, skipped over a community meeting. Um, sorry, Laura. Um, it's okay. No big deal. Um, just real quick, Nigel did a great job. Hey, Nigel. I didn't get a chance to call that out in this meeting yet. Um, there are some updates to do on the docs and the website. I'm aware of them. Uh, they will be coming and um, there will be a call going out for hosts soon, unless anyone on the call would like to hand raise to host the next one. What's um, the date? The next one. The date should be the third Thursday. So whatever that is, uh, I don't have it in front of me at the moment. Um, the seventeenth. So seventeenth March. Two weeks from tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if somebody would like to hand raise. That'd be great. If not, it's fine. I'm going to be putting out a call just because I think it's a really great way to introduce yourself to the community. Yeah. Um, if if we can't is... get a if we can't get a new person, I can do it. Okay, thank you. Um, also, there is a form for topics. I do want to socialize that a little more. Um, and thank you, Chris. Um, so we're trying, since we're not doing the SIG updates or anything like that, we're trying again to uh, do more updates about the topics that people need to talk about across the project. Um, so for now, that form is out there. I'm still trying to figure out how to get it transferred over to the um, SIG contributor Google Drive um, until then. But this is just the starting point. I know we wanted to move it over to GitHub. It just has not happened for this month. So I don't want to change it and then suddenly try to get that out since it's already in the calendar invite. So um, those are the quick updates on community meeting. Thank you. Cool beans. Um, which brings us to... Uh, Steering election, we skip over that. Any other discussion about uh, events? Um, is there any events we haven't covered? Um, one, one quick thing, uh, at least on the steering election, is that um, elections are now going to be a uh, Contribex subproject. Awesome. To try and, and help with continuity between between elections. Yeah, as well as maybe trying to uh, advance stuff and make um, election tools available to SIGs, for example. Uh, it, it's waiting on a bunch of technical stuff I need to do, um, which is actually partly waiting on the current security overhaul of Electo, since that's one of our primary tools, which which is going on right now. Josh, do you happen to have a link to that issue? Uh, to the issue of making it a subproject? Yep. Uh, hold on. I'll add it into the notes. Thanks. Awesome. Um, mentoring. So uh, meet our contributors. Um, is that? Uh, any updates from anyone on the line about meet our contributors? Uh, um, any updates from anyone on the line about Playground, GSOC, Outreachy, or LFX? Um, uh, new contributor workshop. Um, I still need to update the meeting template as the new contributor workshop and how that's going forward is it's being worked on by um, folks. So I, yeah, any updates, um, Bob or? Um... Oh, the, with it being turned to a course? Yeah. 
Uh, I, I will toss it over to Eric, but uh, I, I, that, that has not been started yet. It hasn't started yet, but I think we'll be starting pretty soon, like maybe a couple weeks. We're, we're close. I and I've now just updated um, the the meeting notes here, so that new contributor workshop or contributor new contributor guide will be under Eric. Um, yep. And um, last but not least, there's a new mentoring meeting doodle. Uh, and uh, do we have a link to that doodle in the chat? Uh, Yeah, I'm going to see if I can find it on Slack and just yeah. grab that. Um, Doodle is actually down right now. Oh. Um, I was trying to put in the link and discovered that I could not access Doodle. So, um, I, you know, be aware that it's out there. I put it on Slack. I'll add it in the notes um, once Doodle is back up. Um, the um, uh, Given the people I already know really need to be involved in a cyclical mentoring meeting, It'll probably be a dual meeting um, I, with, um, you know, sort of two different cycles, 12 hours apart, um, just because um, there's no way to have a meeting with people in India, Europe, and the United, India, Europe, United States, and New Zealand all at the same time. <laughs> there is no time slot that works for that. Um, so, so I'm looking for sort of two groupings um, that are, are going to possibly work for that um, uh, out of the doodle. And like I said, I will, I will reshare the doodle once I can. Awesome. Well, I hope, uh, I hope doodle comes back up soon. Yeah, um, um, initially I was, so unfortunately initially when I was seeing the results, um, a lot of people were picking the current time slot which is Mondays at eight Pacific, you know, and saying they were available for that, which is kind of manifestly not true because I've run the last three of those and it's generally been me and either Deba or Nate and nobody else. So, um, so in terms of people voting on the doodle, please vote for, vote for things that you will actually be able to attend um, yeah, realistically. Alrighty. Um, thank you very much, uh, Josh. Um, now we're on to the next items in our agenda. Any updates around community management? Yeah, um, quick uh, non-update that uh, the crunch is over at work, so I have time to dedicate to automation again. Awesome. Um, thank you very much for taking that on, Nigel. Uh, appreciate it. Yep. Um, next uh, up, we have marketing. Uh, Chris. Hey, all from the marketing side. Uh, I was actually out last week, so I'm just going to kind of skim over the notes. Uh, there's a draft uh, MOC APEC blog that we're going over. Um, <clears throat> We've updated the marketing council to actually point to the right people and shadows, as well as, um, you know, just who's doing what in the org. Um, as far as campaigns in progress, we're trying, you know, to help Josh as much as possible with a, some kind of mentorship coordinator. Um, trying to keep track of when to reach out to SIGs and stuff like that. Uh, the release team, uh, there's a issue with one of the tweet issues, so we'll figure that out. Um, but yeah, it, everything seems to be going good. Uh, we're looking into new tools for tweet, or tweet, tweet automation, Twitter automation, however I wanted to say that the first time. Um, and yeah, everything's uh, going well. Please join us on Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern time if you're interested in participating. There's plenty of work to do. What new tools are you looking at? Uh, from here, there's Microsoft Workflow. There's another 
Yeah, I have an update on that. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So I have made an a document related to it. I'll just copy it and share it in the comments. We have found few tools. So copy link. Okay. I got it. I'll put it in the notes too. Yeah. So this is the documentation. It's just it's still in progress, but uh, we are looking at few automations like Microsoft Workflow, Nn.io. Uh, but the problem here is that we 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 are unable to find us a solution where it's free for now. The Nn.io is free for self-hosting on the desktop app, but uh, to host it on the cloud solution, uh, it has some plans. Mm. And the Microsoft workflow is pretty much very flexible and is very powerful. Uh, I've tried it. I've tried it. Uh, I've gone through some of the workflows. There are we can create conditions. We can uh, integrate multiple workflows. Uh, it, meaning it's very versatile, but uh, it has a plan which which you might want to look at. So the, Apart the big question, from oh, sorry, yeah. oh yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah. What? Why are like outside of being able to schedule tweets? Why are we looking at other tools? Yeah, exactly. So I was going. Uh, there's an ongoing issue on the main Twitter together repository for scheduling tweets. Uh, Twitter uh, implementation of Twitter thread. Wait, I'll link it here. But till then we are only uh, relying on this Twitter together GitHub action so that um, we can either work on the existing workflow or search for new tools. That's just a proposition we can have. I think it would be very valuable to be able to have something that's more flexible. And, um, you know, in terms of uh, like tools that could potentially cost money um i know i would like your comment on this as well bob um like um if you find something that's going to be a really good solution that works for uh every, works really well and it's going to cost something it might be good to raise it higher up so we can get a uh, kind of some funding for that um because um it's very important that like we uh that we get y'all um, super getting the tweets out um, and not being bogged back by the stuff not working. Um, I don't know, Bob, what are your thoughts? My uh, gut is to actually try and, you know, either find someone to make the change to upstream, to Twitter together, um, because the there are other projects that want to do this. And if we can push that change up there, or if we have to fork it and maintain our own copy, then that not just benefits Kubernetes, that benefits all the other projects that want to use it. Um, we can like we can get money from the CNCF to do stuff like we've looked at Zapier and things like that. Um, but I would really try and keep it in a GitHub centric workflow um, just because that's what a lot of people understand. And I know that like right now, people aren't like opening up their own tweets. They aren't creating their own tweets. Um, like we, we had kind of hoped that they would, um, but I think that's more of a discoverability issue and that they don't know that that capability is there. Whenever I have personally talked to like other SIG leads, um, they had no idea it existed. Like it, the, the, they have pinged me like uh, asking like, hey, can we tweet this out? Um, I'm like, sure, open up, like create an issue here. <laughs> so I think um, that is the the main reason why we, we aren't seeing, you know, more engagement and usage of that tool from the rest of the community. Um, but yeah, I, my, my, my gut is to try and, and work on the upstream version to support that feature. 
Mm. But currently we we don't have the means we are relying on the update update on the official Twitter together thing to get uh, we, we, because in the current automation we cannot create Twitter threads or schedule tweets so. I tried it on my repository for scheduling tweets, but it's not working. And that's been an issue mentioned in the uh, Twitter together repository. So till then, uh, should we then uh, rely on the existing workflow? Well, the, the only, my, my biggest thing is like, if we go to something else that requires a separate tool, then that's another the, thing we have to watch. It's yeah. not being Maintain, another thing. That, access, all that stuff. And yeah. you will never get anyone else outside of this group ever touching it. Mm -hmm. You will never get SIG leads. You'll never get anyone else actually trying to use it. Um, one of the reasons we, we really pushed for Twitter together <clears throat> was because it, it would integrate with like our, our sort of standard way of doing things. Um, it, it's just, it's not being... <clears throat> We, we, we need more people to know it's ex of its existence to use it. <laughs> um, it's kind of a chicken and egg thing right now. Um, because if we can't schedule tweets, that means someone has to go in and manually approve the tweet at the right time kind of deal. So, yeah, I mean, it, we don't necessarily want to open the floodgates, but you're right. We definitely should communicate that out somehow more effectively. Mm. So Indeed. I was I was just Sorry. looking over at that issue that was on Twitter together, and um, I see that uh, 26 days ago, um, someone's commented that they're interested in helping build it. It might be good to reach out to them and and kind of see, you know, where things are at, or just to comment on like you know the GitHub issue as well, and raise some like awareness of how we're using it, and like you know we're interested, and if there is capacity from someone in the call and they're interested on helping out on this issue, this Twitter together one, that could be a potential good avenue. This this oh, is also something it's like an LFX mentoring thing too. Mm. Uh, yeah, I have tried to. Uh... Yeah, okay, cool. yeah. yeah, I proposed the thing about LFX mentorship uh, in the marketing subgroup. So yeah, it would be great for some something like mentorship thing to have a proper guidance on what needs to be done in the workflow. Because currently working on new features uh, is not possible. Like this one, I'll link it here. Yeah. So the major problem that came up with this project is we don't have enough people like either to, you know, at the point of time we need to approve. Also, the previous folks who helped us to develop this aren't available at this point of time to take this mentoring. Thing. Otherwise, it would have been a great mentoring project if we have dedicated three months, then somebody would have done it better for us. But yeah, this is the like majority thing we are facing is the lack of people uh, in this particular Yeah, yeah, so the thing was like I, I had been working on this issue, like I've been trying to develop it on my own side. And uh, uh, I did this the last week and uh, faced some errors. I pinged the original maintainer of this project on Twitter and uh, uh, presently he isn't like so active in this uh, project itself. So he told me to create an issue. Basically what was happening that uh, uh, when you create a developer Twitter account, uh, it has a lot of, uh, like Twitter gives you a lot of options, like it has some limited access, some elevated access. And the one uh, which uh, needs, uh, the one account which needs uh, automation uh, requires an uh, elevated access. But uh, earlier I used to uh, do my own automation things, like I used to test out with a limited access account. And now I have to uh, like upgrade it to the elevated thing. And for that, it requires some business proposition. Like it needs uh, your company name and all that things. So uh, currently it's not like possible so, for, at my end to do it. Well, so when, when we had to yeah. fill that out for Kubernetes, we literally just listed the Kubernetes open source project. Okay, like, then I'll refill that form that way. Then I, I just like randomly yeah. put things out there. Uh, the, I got the access. I, 
Yeah. Yeah, go on. I, I would also suggest pinging Jason, the other um, major contributor on there. Um, he is much more active and would be willing to take this on. Uh, yeah, so basically this, uh, the Twitter automation for Kubernetes was developed by Rajula, I guess. And uh, I had pinged him like two to three times about this and uh, he responded. And the last time the problem I faced recently, I had pinged him about it and he hasn't responded, but yeah, maybe you can expect a reply in some days. And yeah, I'll do that. The one you just said about Kubernetes, putting that is the company. So I just linked, so, um the two other primary contributors to the project outside of um, GR2M. Um, Jason okay, yeah. uh, on there, like um, he, he, he does this sort of, like he updates this stuff for fun. So like, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he'd be willing to help guide or potentially uh, just take it on and do it. I don't think the issue which was uh, linked earlier by Athava isn't isn't active. Like if we need to develop some new stuff like uh, threading or replying or putting some chips or media, we need to do it by ourselves by creating a team within the Contrivix team maybe or the marketing team. Uh, like I don't think there are enough contributors to this issue now. So if we need a uh, quick solution, we might have to work on it intensively on our own. Like a working automation uh, like, thingy, yeah. Yes, like yes, exactly. Group. Yeah. Uh, maybe something like that, but yeah, not really concentrating on that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, uh, any other thoughts? Um, Oh, thank you very much, Afava, for uh, preparing that document and sharing with the team and helping. And we had all got to have a really good discussion about that. It's good. Um, and uh, which brings us to our next item, contributor documentation. Um, you want to talk, Bob? I technically my name's on the thing, but I'll pass it over to you. <laughs> um, uh, contributor documentation is going along pretty well. We've um, uh, done a bunch of pull requests that are, you know, crawling along at the speed of uh, pull requests. But um, I think we've got maybe like two more uh, big changes to do. Um, I, uh, you know, we're trying to get through it so that we can work on the. Um, the thing that I talked about earlier that I, the, the new contributor workshop. So I'm trying to get through this latest batch of contributor guide updates uh, as quickly as possible. Um, I also contributed a script uh, that's in the hack directory or it's in a pull request that's affecting the hack directory to um, auto format markdown. Uh, it's, it does almost everything pretty well. <laughs> Uh, and require you know it still requires some manual fixes afterwards, but it's 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 pretty good. It needs I think some more reviews, maybe like one more review from somebody who can look at shell scripts and tell me if I'm bad at them. <laughs> uh, and I think that's about where I am right now. Awesome. Um, if you uh, grab those links to the pull requests, and um, I can get them into the. Uh, into the meeting notes and uh, we can have a look over it. Um, okay, I think there's like five of them. So if you just if you just copy paste all of them and put them at the top of contributor documentation, you can shift it around okay. after. Okay, I'll stick them in there. Yeah. Um, so I've got a contributor guide, developer guide, and contributor site. Um, okay, the developer guide, I still, uh, I. I'm not really sure what changes we're going to be making there. Um, in the last meeting, um, somebody who might be here, oh, Ray uh, pointed out that uh, a bunch of the other SIGs have their own contributor uh, files or contribution files. Um, I didn't take a, I, I took a look at those a little bit, but they're kind of, I, I kind of feel like it's going to be tough 
for people who aren't part of those other SIGs to really do a lot of uh, work on those. So we might have to bug the other SIGs to update their contributing MD files. So, most SIGs don't have the mute too. I should also make a note that SIGs that do have them, they have them because they uh, the way they can they they contribute in that SIG is is different from mm -hmm. the main the main developer Skype. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I, I mean, I guess it, it's important for you know to to I guess make it easier to contribute to a bunch of those SIGs, but that it, that's a I think that's that's a different can of worms to open. Yeah, um, I, I I wouldn't I would not worry about touching the contributing MDs. Okay, yeah, I figure you know what I'm trying to do is just get contributors period and then yeah. once we get them in you have to you know indoctrinate them into the into the subgroups you know through their own ancient initiation ceremonies <laughs> <laughs> the the other sort of general thing i want to bring up and this will require a discussion on the mailing list um what are people's thoughts about actually just moving the contributor guide to the contributor site this like this is mostly so I thought we already talked about doing that. I could have sworn it, we had this conversation. We have had this conversation before. Okay. Um, and there that was mostly pre like the contributor site being a thing. Okay. Um and one of the reasons why the contributor site came about with my shameful bash script <laughs> um <laughs> is, is because uh people did not want to move the content out of K community. They wanted that to be the source of truth. The thing is, is that like, we're, we, we, we like, now that more people are actually starting to use the contributor site, they're going there first. Like we had um, an issue open the other day asking where to update content in the contributor guide. So it wound up being this circular thing of they open up an issue and then transfer it like responding there and then transferring it over to K community for them to update it. Um, there are other things like, you know, it has native support for localization. So the, the, lo the localization teams can actually, you know, do a better job of tracking and doing that sort of thing. Um, there are other like we can take advantage of the Hugo short codes and some other some other useful things in there. Um, I mean, I love the idea. Like, I'm not objecting to it in any way, shape, or form. I just because sworn we said like we should do that at some point. I, I have personally said we should do this. I've been saying okay. we should do it for a while. <laughs> I think that it should happen too because um, you know, <clears throat> for, like Bob found errors in my markdown that I could have found myself if it was easy enough to run the website in a testing environment but it's such a it's 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 such a confusing um setup that i i think i tried for like three minutes i was like ah, i don't want to do it. i'm just gonna go back to it. <laughs> so i think it'd be a really good idea it's because so for for others uh markdown is uh, up to interpretation yes. and <laughs> There are some things, like some things will work if you have a link that spans multiple lines. Others do not. Hugo is one that does not. So if you have like, you know, your, your brackets around a markdown link and it, it will not recognize it if you have a carriage return in there. Um, Which is, a, that's gotta be a bug. How come nobody's... <laughs> it's, it's technically like, it is technically marked out like Hugo is more strict in its markdown than GitHub. Okay. That that is that is why. Um, so I I am personally in favor of it, but I I, I want to hear others' thoughts before potentially uh, kicking a beehive uh, and sending something to the mailing list. I think uh, the points you made before about how a lot of people are going to KDiv uh, rather than K community first 
is a sign that we need to be putting more attention onto KDEV, the site, and making sure that becomes our source of truth. And how we approach that problem is going to be a whole nother different question because uh, as a whole lot of, like we've got two different kind of things on the table. We've got K community and we've got the contributor side. And so there's a whole lot of challenges, but I definitely am in support in favor of sending something out to the mailing list to see how uh, the rest of the uh, project feels. Uh, how people in Contrabex feel. I, I've always been in favor of, of everything that we expect to be reference information being on the community site um, rather than buried in, in the repo of KDEV. <clears throat> Among other things, it makes it much more searchable. Yeah. Um, Google assigns very low rank to anything that's um, a text page in a GitHub repo. Yeah, I so would just the rest yeah. of the stuff then in Kate community once you move it over. Because then it's like, because I was a vocal one that was against this. And I worried about the rest of the documentation that was in there. And if like there was a plan in place to port that over as well, because as it stands mm -hmm. right now, there's not a plan and there's a lot of other very important documentation in that, in that repository. And then going back to what Allison is saying, then now you have two repositories that you really have to take care of. Mm -hmm. And then you're telling people that official documentation is in a repository called contributor-site. And it doesn't mm -hmm. look very official. Um, no, but you're but telling I people, would... you're telling people that the official documentation is on a website called kubernetes.dev. Agreed, agreed. But then you're making, you're making pull requests into it called contributor site. But then mm -hmm. also, again, having dangling documentation in Kate community. I would be in favor of this if there was a plan in place that pretty much either sunsets Kate community or there's a strategy of what goes in K community and what goes in, in on the website and who's taking care of what. And um, also a very nice placeholder where the community, where the contributor guide goes right now that links to the contributor site. I think that, that would be my, that would be where I would be in favor of this. Mm. Yeah, I, I was just, you know, just hearing your thoughts there, Paris. I was thinking um, one of the big things is, you know, uh, how much kind of overhead it is um, having, you know, we've got this web dev style stuff and then we've got this documentation and having them co-located in the same place, you know, you know how how are the people working on this this community documentation going to interface with it um you know what's got what does the how will this affect the kind of contributing process you know this, this is a very kind of big thing just thinking about it out loud and hearing everyone's thoughts on the line um and uh yeah i'm 100 percent on board with we need a plan um you know we we should is there, do we have a GitHub issue for this? Hold on. Yeah. No, there, it's just been in discussion for ages. Yeah. Um, there, yeah. there are like, there are other things that are blocking ingesting content from mm -hmm. other repos too. Um, and honestly, like that uh, has like replacing my bash script has been picked up and dropped by like four different people now. Um, yeah, the- um... Me included. One of the prior requirements was that we somehow slurp stuff that's in K community as it is without modification and include that in the website. And, and that was technically prohibitive. Um, the, um, we need to be able to reformat it as Hugo Docs um, or we're asking the people who are working on the contributor documentation to do too much in order to avoid changing anything. So, um, the, um, uh, you know, the, I, I think let's go ahead and start with an issue here and list the items because I also think discussing in the abstract, we're actually making it into a bigger deal than it, than it is. Because I mean, what else is in K community? The contributor summit, the SIG pages, um, which are also something that should be present on a website. Um, 
the um I don't know what else. All I mean, but once we list out the things, I think we're going to find out it's less than than people are thinking it is. Um, it's we have- governance. It's how we operate all of our major communication platforms, which is like twenty pages. That, that's it- already served up there, actually. <laughs> but not all of it. Yeah. I don't see all of it served up there right now. Like and like, should it be served up there? Like, really, do we want on KDev like how we moderate YouTube? Like that's, I feel like that's what should be discussed. Like we should discuss the information architecture of the site because, because right now, like even under resources and community, I feel like there's just kind of information scattered there. All I'm saying is that we should take a little bit more of a finesse approach. I'm not blocking it. I'm just saying, let's write down what's in K, what's in K community, where it should live and why, and just have some kind of like higher thought process around this so that like, we don't have to clean up the clean up the cruft later on from what would build from this exercise. Yeah. I'm good with yeah. that. So um, mailing list uh, somewhere where we can track this in GitHub because uh, I feel like this is a, yeah, it's a lot of ideas um, here. And we've got one minute left for GitHub management. <laughs> I should have kept an eye on the time a bit better, um, but uh, GitHub management. Um, uh, no updates here. Okay, which leaves us down to open mic and discussion. Uh, probably not going to have any time for open mic today, but we had a lot of really good discussions here around many, many topics. Um, you know, uh, it's good to see y'all, and uh, thank you for coming along to. Uh, today's meeting and um, I'll catch you all later. Thanks. Bye. Bye.